this baby boy who's come to earth to bring us joy and I just want to sing this song to you it goes like this the fourth the fifth the minor fall the major lift with every breath I'm singing Our watchword for the week comes from Psalm 148, 13. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for His name alone is exalted. His glory is above earth and heaven. Again, Psalm 148, 13. We do thank you for being here with us at Willow Hill this morning. Uh, just a wonderful day to be in the Lord, which it doesn't feel like the day after Christmas, and it nearly 70 degrees outside either, does it? Um, but that's all right. We better enjoy them while we've got them. Um, the days like today, and we're very thankful to have those. Thankful to have each and every one of you here. Uh, if you're watching online, we ask you to like and share just so that we can share the gospel with as many people as we possibly can. 
if you're out in the uh, parking lot, we appreciate you being here this morning as well. Um, we do have a, a, just a couple of announcements. Uh, the list has gotten much shorter over the last couple of weeks. <laughs> Uh, but we do. We are going to have a watch night service Friday night, December the 31st. Uh, we will start at 7 o'clock with games, food, and fellowship. And at 11.30, we will come upstairs. We will have service from 11.30 to midnight. And uh, at midnight, we will sing. And if we want to go back downstairs and play some games, if, if you feel up to it, we'll go back downstairs and we'll play some games. If not... We'll clean up, go home, and <laughs> we'll get some sleep then. But uh, very thankful for that opportunity. Uh, also, just to let you know, uh, there are still some flavorings that are for sale, Happy Home Flavorings, and then if you'll see Madison or uh, Stephanie, we would greatly appreciate that. Um, and they are downstairs. Uh, so that is kind of it for the announcements at, at the moment. Uh, we are thankful to have each and every one of you here. And uh, we do have a liturgy this morning on page 39. So if you grab your Moravian hymnal, turn to the uh, liturgy on page 39 in the very front of the book. I didn't mark my page. But it is the Christmas liturgy. If you would, if you would stand with me. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. For he has visited and redeemed his people. The day spring from on high has visited us to give light to those who sit in darkness. And to guide our feet into the way of peace. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Thanks be to God for his gift beyond words. Mine eyes have seen thy salvation. Which thou hast prepared.
Glory be to God on high, and on earth peace, good will toward men. We praise Thee, we bless Thee, we worship Thee, we glorify Thee, we give thanks to Thee for Thy great glory. O Lord God, Heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, Be seated. to thee, Lord God our Father, who has chosen us in Jesus Christ, our Lord, before the foundation of the world. Thou hast blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. O oh, Thou who art the one, God and Father of all, who hast redeemed us through Jesus Christ, Thy Son, we beseech Thee, quicken us who have been dead in trespasses and sins. For the sake of Thy great love, wherewith Thou hast loved us, make us to live in Christ our Lord. O Emmanuel, Thou Savior of the world, By thy holy incarnation, by thy human birth, by thy pure and blameless childhood, by thine obedience and diligence, by thy humility, meekness, and patience, by thine extreme poverty, by thy griefs and sorrows, by thy prayers and tears, by thy having been despised and rejected, by thy 
cross and passion, by thy death and burial, by thy triumphant resurrection and ascension, help us and save us. God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, has shined in our hearts to give the light of knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. May we all be holding as in a glass the glory of the Lord, be changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. You'll stand with me, please. Look at your neighbor on your right and on your left and tell them it is good to worship with them this morning. And if I can get a couple of ushers to come, we'll take up our Sunday morning tithes and offering. And I think we will flip-flop it. I'll do the prayer first. <laughs> I'm just letting you know. <laughs> hey, hang on just a second. We're going to say the prayer first. <laughs> they never know what I'm going to do <laughs> from Sunday to Sunday. <laughs> Bless their hearts. But we're going to pray and bless the offering before we even receive it, and uh, just as an honor. So let us pray. Father God, we're so thankful for the blessing and for the opportunity to give. God, to be able to worship you through our finances. You do tell us in the scripture that it is our obligation to tithe, and anything above that is an offering. So God, I pray that you would bless whatever is received. And not only bless it, but God, help us to be good stewards of it, not to be, uh, God, just to be about your business. Nothing more, nothing less. Glorifying and magnifying of your name. That is the most important thing that we can do. So God, lead us in the path of what we need to do, how we need to do, when and where. Guide our paths in everything. In Jesus' name, amen. Now we'll be blessed by the choir this morning.
much. You can be seated this morning. Um, I hope everybody picked you up an ode as you came through the door. If you didn't, you're more than welcome. Uh, we can get somebody to grab you one or give you one. We're going to go through that here in just a moment. Uh, through our liturgy, we read uh, John 3.16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever would believe within Him should not perish but have everlasting life. But we didn't stop. We went on into uh, verse number 17. And did I say John chapter 16? John chapter 3, verse 16 and verse 17. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through Him might be saved. The world means mankind throughout this. And I think most of us know that. And I am just excited this morning that we celebrated the birth of that Savior. That birth of the ultimate sacrifice that was going to pay the price for our sins. And... Uh, uh, just thankful for the opportunity to praise to Him and to, to worship Him this morning and then get into breath of heaven this morning and, and some of you may not have noticed but boy, I, I kind of got carried away there a little bit um, not only in, uh, in the song itself but God just, His breath His breath um, that comes from Him that's what gives us life today. That's what makes us and allows us to breathe. And I'm thankful this morning that we have that opportunity. I'm thankful that we have the opportunity to go through this ode uh, this morning as a reading service. Uh, I'll try not to take up too much time. I just got excited there for a minute and I had to slow down so I could calm down just a little bit. Uh, before I got started in anything else. so uh, But we are going to get started. And again, we're giving you your exercise this morning. I should have let you just keep standing, I guess. But if you'll stand with me one more time. The ode starts, In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was God. And the Word was God. In Him was life. The light shines in the darkness. And the darkness has not overcome it. The true light that enlightens every man was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him. Yet the world knew him not. He came to his own home, and his own people received him not. But to all who received him, who believed in And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. We have beheld His glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father. If you will, turn to hymn number 68. We will sing, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel.
be seated. Of the increase of his government and of peace there shall be no end. Upon the throne of David and over his kingdom to establish it and uphold it with justice and righteousness from this time forth and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. There shall be. Him, do what? Hymn number 51, uh, Morning Star, verses 2 and 3. Sorry, I did not, I seen it, but I didn't read it. Get you up to a high mountain, O Zion, herald of good tidings. Lift up your voice with strength. Lift it up, be not afraid. Say to the cities of Judah, Behold your God. The, the people, people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwelt in a land of deep darkness, on them has light shone. Arise, shine. For your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For behold, darkness shall cover the earth, and thick darkness the peoples. But the Lord will arise upon you, and his glory will be seen upon you. And nations shall come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your rising. But you. In Jerusalem in the days of Herod, king of Judea, it was Zechariah's turn to serve in the temple. At this time, the whole congregation was outside praying. So, oh, let me make sure. I think I missed something here. Okay. Suddenly, the messenger of the Lord... I Felt like I was skipping a page, but it didn't feel like it. Suddenly the messenger of the Lord appeared to him and said, Do not be afraid. Your prayer has been heard. Your wife, Elizabeth, is to bear you a son, and you are to name him John. And he will bring you joy, and many people will rejoice at his birth. Zechariah said to the messenger, How can I be sure of this? I am an old man, and my wife is getting on in years. The messenger replied, I am Gabriel who stands in God's presence, and I have been sent to bring you this good news. Listen, 
At the proper time, my words will come true. And because you have not believed them, you will be silenced and you will not be able to speak until this has happened. Meanwhile, the people outside were waiting for Zechariah and were surprised that he had stayed in the holiest place so long. When he came out, he could not speak to them, and they realized that he had received a vision in the holiest place. He could only make signs to them, and he remained dumb. When the time of Zechariah's temple service came to an end, he returned home. Some time later, his wife Elizabeth realized she was going to have a baby, and for uh, and four or five months she kept away from other people. Six months after Elizabeth, the wife of Zechariah, knew she was going to have a child, God sent his messenger Gabriel to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a young girl called Mary who was engaged to be married to a man called Joseph. Joseph was a distant descendant of David who had been king of Israel in Judah about a thousand years before. Gabriel said to Mary, Rejoice, you are highly honored. The Lord is with you, Mary. The Lord is with you. Mary was worried uh, by these words and asked herself what all this could mean. But the messenger said to her, Mary, do not be afraid. God is to do you a great honor. Listen, you are to have a son and you are to name him Jesus. He will be a great man and will be called the son of David. His kingdom will have no end. Mary said to the messenger, But how can this come about since I do not yet have a husband? The messenger answered, The Holy Spirit will come to you and the power of the Most High will be at work within you. And so the child will be holy and will be called the son of God. Mary said, I am at the service of the Lord for him to do to me what you have said. Then the messenger left her. Hymn number 72, verse number 3. About this time, Mary set out and went straight to a town in the uplands of Judea, uh, Judah. She went into Zechariah's house and greeted Elizabeth. And when Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby that she was carrying leapt in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit, and she exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, and why is this granted me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For behold, when the voice of the greeting came to my ears, the babe in my womb leaped for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her from the Lord.
Mary remained with her for about three months and returned to her home. Now the time had come for Elizabeth to have her child, and she gave birth to a son. Her neighbors and relations rejoiced with her. The family all wanted to name him Zachariah after his father. But his mother spoke up and said, No, he is to be called John. They said to her, But no one in your family is called John. And they made signs to his father to try to find out what he wanted the boy to be called. Zechariah asked for a writing tablet and wrote, His name is John. They were all astonished at this. And at that very instant, Zechariah's power of speech returned and he spoke and praised God. He was filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke the prophecy. Stand with me, please. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through the Lord's prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies. From the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies. Free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, 
shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For he will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the light of his Uh, in the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from the high, from on high, shall break upon us. To shine on those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. You can be seated. The birth of Jesus Christ happened like this. When Mary was engaged to Joseph, just before their marriage, she was discovered to be pregnant by the Holy Spirit. Whereupon Joseph, her future husband, who was a good man and did not want to see her disgraced, planned to break off the engagement quietly. But while he was turning the matter over in his mind, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. What she has conceived is through the Holy Spirit, and she will give birth to a son, whom you will call Jesus, the Savior. For it is he who will save his people from their sins. All this happened to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel had told him. Then he gave him the name Jesus. Hymn number 188, please. Those days went out a decree, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment when Quirinius was governor of Syria, and all, all went to be enrolled, each to his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the city of Nazareth to Judea, the city of David, which is called Bethlehem because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. Hymn number 81, verse number 1 only.
while they were there, the time came for her to be delivered, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. And there were shepherds out in the field keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with fear.
sorry. <laughs> Can't help but to laugh. I about uh, messed up the wife's hair. Y'all about to see me get slapped. Um, anyway, and the angel said to them, Be not afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall come to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. Stand with me. Let's sing uh, verses 1 and 2 of Joy to the World, uh, hymn number 82. will be a sign for you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, if you will turn to hymn number 78, verse number 1, angels we have heard on high. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds uh, said one to another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe in a, lying in a manger. Hymn number 88, verse number 1.
And when they saw it, they made known the saying which had been told them concerning this child. And all who heard it wondered at the shepherds, uh, at, wh at what the shepherds told them. But Mary kept these things, pondering them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. Hymn number 91, Christ the Lord most glorious. The Lord most glorious. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon and touched with our hands, concerning the word of life, the life was made manifest, and when we saw it, and to testify, testify to it, and proclaim to you the eternal life which was with the Father, and which was revealed to us, that we have seen and heard, we proclaim also to you, so that you may have fellowship with us, and our fellowship is with the Father, and with the, His Son, Jesus Christ. And this we are writing to you, that your joy may be complete. Hymn number 51. Hymn number 84, Hark the Herald Angels Sing.
The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Thank you.